Hello, everybody. I'm John Locke, and I'd like to welcome you to the LockingYourSuccess.com Trading Performance Podcast, where it's all about real traders, real problems, and real coaching. Listen up and enjoy the segment. One of the things that I wanted to talk about is awareness. Awareness both uh, about trading and what the trading business is, as well as awareness about yourself. So this is extremely important because if you're having any challenges making money the way you want to make money with trading, if you don't have awareness of what reality is, then you're going to have you're going to continually have challenges in trying to create what you want through trading. So I'm going to pose you with this question. Would you rather have someone give you a million dollars or would you rather have somebody teach you how to make a million dollars? Now, if you were to ask me this question, say, 10 years ago, uh, I would jump right on that and say, I would much rather have somebody give me a million dollars. Because at the time, I had no idea of how to make a million dollars. So I would say, I would much rather have the million dollars. And here's some reasons that I'd rather win a million dollars than learn how to make a million dollars. The number one reason is I want money. The number two reason is I'm lazy. Now, one of the things I want everybody to understand that if I call you lazy, it's not a derogatory comment. It's simply the reality of the human condition. Human beings, by default, they are lazy. Even the most motivated human beings you see in general are lazy. And I myself happen to be maybe on the more lazy end of some of those individuals. So uh, it's not a, an insult to you at all. It's just, a, it's just an observation and a fact of humanity. So we as human beings are lazy. And we as human beings, we want to avoid uncertainty associated with the process of making a million dollars. In other words, we'd much rather have, uh, or one, another, one of the things my dad used to say is a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So uh, basically meaning you're much better off to be certain you're going to get that million dollars than, so, than, sh than have somebody show you how to make a million dollars and then deal with the uncertainty of, well, is it really possible? Can I do it personally? And all the other things that come up when we start talking about this type of thing. But when it comes to the money itself, why do we want the money in the first place? Is it because we're looking for some form of security? Is it good because we're looking for significance, perhaps confidence, freedom? Do we think money is going to buy us acceptance? Is it going to buy us love? Is it going to buy us connection? Why do we want that money? What is the purpose of the money? For a lot of people, it's going to be maybe security, uh, maybe freedom, and possibly so that they can feel significant because now I have money, I can buy all this stuff and, and, and I can show off that I'm actually rich, right? Uh, confidence in yourself. So those might be some reasons that we want money. But as I was researching this subject, one interesting thing I found from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is actually a government agency, is that lottery winners or people who actually win money are more likely to declare bankruptcy within three to five years than the average American or the average person who didn't win money. That's interesting. And also found out that nearly one third of lottery winners eventually declare bankruptcy. So what is the result of having money given to you? And Let's take a look at the next slide here. Why are more people who win money more likely to go bankrupt than people who just go about living their life the way that they're living it? Why do people who win money lose money? Well, first of all, is they have this actual belief that winning money creates significance. If you've won money, that's, that means nothing. You're not significant because you won money. You just happened to win money. You got lucky. If you have the money, maybe you can consider yourself a little bit of significance or maybe significant because you have money. However, feeling over significant is a problem, right? Over significant. What do you think of those people? People who are arrogant, overly cocky. They show off what's going on. You usually don't 
think too much of those people. They are also, they also become overly secure. Hey, look, I got all this money now. I don't have to worry about things. Now, it's incredibly important that uh, in our day-to-day -day life that we think thoughts that create a feeling of security for us. But we want to make sure we have the appropriate amount of security. When we get to the point where we're, where we're falsely or over-secure about something, then that becomes a problem. And particularly if it's about money, because now we're throwing money away because who cares? right? I'm secure anyway. They also become overly confident. Again, in life, whenever we're trying to do anything, we need to have the appropriate amount of confidence. In other words, I can be confident in my ability to balance well, and I can balance across a board that's three feet off the ground without much of a problem, but I wouldn't want to balance a board that goes across a skyscraper from skyscraper to skyscraper because I'm not that confident <laughs> in my ability to walk across a four inch plank, right? So I don't wanna be overly confident, I get hurt that way. Um, the other thing they do is they exploit their newfound freedom. So they, they have this money, so now I can quit my job, now I can be free, now I can go on vacation, now I don't have to think about all the money, spending money, I can just go out and I can just do whatever I want. Well. No matter how much money you have, you can't do whatever you want. I mean, that's just the fact of life, right? That's going to have uh, create problems. Also, they believe that now that I have money, I'll be accepted. I'm going to be loved. I'm going to be able to make connections with people. The problem is, if you win money and you think you're overly significant and you're overly confident um, and you expect money people to love you because you have money, well, what you're going to do is you're going to push away your healthy relationships and you're going to attract those people that are there for the benefits of your money, which means your money goes away faster. Uh, and you want to spend that money. You want to give that them that money because you need that acceptance. Okay. All this results in losing money, plus the fact that you're still lazy. And now instead of having uncertainty, which we should always have some uncertainty, if we don't have some uncertainty, then we're, we're fooling ourselves, right? We're living in a fantasy world. But then you, be, you become certain that things are going to stay this way. They're going to stay, I'm always going to have money. I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. And this combination of factors will put somebody or many people into bankruptcy. And even if the people don't go into bankruptcy, one of the things, again, if you start reading the lottery studies, is that they go back to the money level that they have, and certainly a lot of times below the happiness level that they had before they actually won that money. So there's some definitely some drawbacks from that. Now, what are the advantages to learning how to make a million dollars? Well, uh, first of all, I can do it over and over again. If I learn how to make a million dollars, I don't have to worry about spending money. I don't have to worry about losing money. Because if I spend the money, I lose the money. I can do it again. Also, confidence. I've literally figured out or somebody taught me how to make this money. And since I can make the money and I don't have to worry about losing the money or spending the money, I can be confident that I can do it again, right? I can, have a, I can have a higher level of confidence. I can have a higher level of security. To me, I, I would think that most people would th find that significant that you can actually make the money and you don't really care if you lose it so much. I mean, you care, but you know, it's not that big a deal. You can do it again. You know, is, does that create freedom for you? Probably, probably. Again, freedom is a state of mind, which we haven't talked about, but freedom... Your level of freedom is, is built in your head. It's not based on what you have. It's not based on your money. But maybe you have rules in place for your feelings and emotions, and you allow yourself to feel freedom. If you can make a million dollars, you know how to do it. And you can do it over and over again. As far as love and connection, well, you know, who knows? Uh, sometimes money destroys relationships. Sometimes it helps. You never know. How does this relate to trading? Why are we talking about it? Well, would you rather have someone give you a rule set that made a million dollars in the past, either through live trading or back testing, or 
would you rather have somebody teach you how to make a million dollars in the markets regardless of future market conditions? Why would someone want the rule set? Right? Why? Because they want to make money. Right? I want the rule set because I want to make money. But the question is, when do I want to make money? Do I want to make it now? Do I want to make it in the future? And why do I want to make money? Which is even the bigger question, right? So I want to make money now. I want to make money in the future. I think everybody uh, here would probably hold that same thought. Why do you want to make money? Well, because I want to feel confident in myself. I want to feel secure. I'd like to maybe have some freedom, maybe leave my job, go on vacation, buy stuff that I want to buy. And we all want to feel significant in one way or another, right? So that's why I want the money. Or, or that's why I want the rule set. That's why I want the trade. That's why I want the indicator. I also want the indicator because I'm lazy. I don't want to go out there and have to read the market. I don't want to go out there, you know, if you can bring in the uncertainty as well, I don't want to go out there and do stuff that uh, I'm not going to be certain about. I don't want to, I want to do stuff that I don't, that I know I'm not going to win. I'd rather much rather just have this rule set where I just do this. I just follow the instructions same way every day. I don't have to think about it. I don't sit there and watch the market. And I created my money machine. You know, if you want that, I don't blame you. I want that too. But even if I found it, what is it going to produce? It's going to produce the same problems we had with winning money. It's going to produce things like overconfidence. It's going to produce stuff like overconfidence, feeling secure when you're not, maybe quitting your job when you really shouldn't be, thinking you're significant when, I mean, we're all significant, right? But thinking you're more significant than you really are in the, in the sense that you now know how to make money in the marketplace, which you really don't. You know how to follow a set of rules that happen to make money in the marketplace. There's a really, really huge difference between those two things I just said, knowing how to make money in the marketplace, regardless of what's going on in the marketplace, and having a rule set that happens to be making money in the marketplace currently, or maybe happened to make money in the marketplace in the past. If that's the case, why would you be confident? If you're just following a set of guidelines, then why would you be confident? Why would you be secure? Just because it happens to be winning? We'll talk about that as we move along. But those are no reasons to feel secure. And it's certainly no reason to say, to, to say hey, now I can quit my job and I can go out full time and trade. And that is what I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see in the next Trading Performance Podcast, please list that in the comments and I'll personally answer your questions and comments for you. Also, I'd love to encourage you to come on over to LockingYourSuccess.com. That's L-O-C-K-E in your success.com and check out our Trading Performance and Pro Memberships where you can find the tools you need to become a much more effective trader regardless of the type of trading you do. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you on the next Trading Performance Podcast.